Well, welcome back to uh, another little tutorial uh, on dreams and uh, these are simple tutorials uh, for beginners uh, but I was a beginner once so it was helpful for me uh, but I wanted to thought, uh, start, show how to use the paint tools with sculpture to create texture and so we're going to start off by selecting a shape we want to go with a cylinder and go over to uh, a exit edit the shape and we will make that a little bit longer and then we will go ahead and stamp that shape and we now have a cylinder and now we want to create some um, bark kinds of texture and using the paint tool we're going to go into paint mode right here paint mode we're going to we have a fleck selected we want to start off with a Pick a brown color. We're going to have a brown texture here. So we're going to start off with this now. Um, we're going to want that to be smaller. So let's scale that, that fleck down. And we're going to also go into guides and we're going to select surface snap, which means our paint will then adhere to that shape of the cylinder. We also will go over to our tool menu and we'll select rule. So now when we put down the shape, it will not only adhere to the surface of the cylinder, it will also allow us to do straight lines. So we'll start off here, we'll press down on this, and pull that down, and when we let go, we have a, a straight line. So we're going to be patient here, and we're going to put down a number of these lines. I'm going to do different colors, so I'm going to leave some spaces for other some other colors to go on top but right now I'm just going to go around very very quickly and uh, put down the underlying color of the bark a nice dark brown so I'll just keep going around the, the shape of the cylinder and I'll keep putting in Flex. We can change the size of those flex if we want to. Um, as we go around here, we'll see. And, and let's see. We want to try to keep the move controller, which is what I'm using, as straight up and down as possible, so that the flex maintains its its shape. And that looks, that looks pretty good right there. Now let's go pick another color. Um, and uh, let's go with uh, this color. And not a whole lot of difference there, but it'll give us a little bit of variety. And we won't do those on every one. Do that, and we'll go around in this section here. And we do some size of that fleck a little bit so it's a little bit smaller and we'll fill in these spaces that I left before and over here and over here Just keep rotating that cylinder and filling in the shapes. And I think we've just about come to the full circle, so to speak. Do this one here. Okay, now let's go pick a third color and let's go ahead and do this, this lighter shade. And now this one here, I think what we'll do is we're going to make that a little bit smaller. And we're just going to put that in and, and kind of vary where we put it. We're not going to do the straight lines because the, the object is pretty much filled in. This one here, we can do a, a full line. But I think we just want to kind of give the sense of some layers. 
to this texture. like we have that pretty much covered. Now we're going to exit out of that. Now we have a shape here that is one object. Uh, there's actually two objects. There's the original cylinder and then there's the painted surface. Now we can go into our tweak menu and we can make some adjustments to this. We can go ahead and go into the uh, effects menu and we can change. Uh, actually, none of these are really going to apply to our texture. Those are more for animation. Actually, we want to go in here. There we go. We want to adjust the looseness and uh, having those things kind of blend together. Let's put that looseness at about, uh, let's put about 30%. And we can move this up a little bit as well. And um, you can see that we now have some texture. Playing around with those settings will give you all kinds of effects. And um, as you can see by taking them all the way up, but kind of leaving them just a, a little bit above where the average is. Okay, let's take a look and see what we have here. And um, yeah, it looks pretty good. Looks pretty good. We can select that, select that, group them, and we now have a log that has a I think kind of a nice look to it. it. Has a different, depending on where the light hits it, it'll look different. But that is our log uh, using paint uh, to texture it. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed that little uh, demonstration. It was done quickly, uh, but it, it gives you an idea of the versatility of the paints and how they can be used uh, with sculpture. Uh, in this case, to create some interesting textures. I hope you enjoyed uh, this little demo, and uh, come back and for some more. I'm, I'm working on several others, and uh, hopefully we'll uh, see you soon. Until then, keep dreaming. <laughs>